what were you thinking? Those are the words that the judge said to me the day I stood in front of him in his courtroom way back when in 1993, as I was trying to explain why two weeks prior I had been written up by a couple of Ypsilanti, Michigan police officers for a bunch of citations for my 1982 Datsun Nissan. He looked at the citations and he looked at me and said, why would you let such a toxic and careless car on the road? Now, the reality is he was absolutely true. I wasn't just a young, you know, unexperienced college student. I shouldn't have let that car on the road. The turn signals barely worked. The lights barely worked. One of them kind of flickered. The, the defrost uh, barely worked, and that was very important in Michigan. The radio was wired to the door light, so the only time the music could come on is if the door was open. The windows didn't roll down. Uh, to make matters worse, my friends and I, we painted it bright yellow. We put bright orange bumper stickers all over it that said, honk if you love life. Now, people honked at us all the time and <clears throat> said lots of other colorful words. But I stood before the judge that day trying to answer why I would do that. The night that I was written up, the police officers pulled me over and then they called other police officers because they wanted them to get a kick out of how ridiculous this car was. And they walked around and just laughed and Finally, one came to my window and he knocked on it. And I tried to warn him, I could not roll down my window. So I opened up my door and when I did, the music came on blast. He stepped back, pulled me out, my hands were on the car. It was just a mess. But I stood in front of the judge that day and he asked those quest that question, what were you thinking? And now here's the reality. I would never do that again with a car. I would never do that with my children's car. Like I totally get it. But as a leader, very often for whatever reason, we choose to put toxic and careless words into our mouth, into our uh, leadership every single day. And every single day, every leader has an opportunity to choose between healthy communication and unhealthy communication. And we kind of put it this way. When you choose unhealthy communication, you speak at people. But when you choose healthy communication, you speak with people. Because here's the reality. Healthy communication is oxygen for our relationships and our leadership. It's oxygen. And so when we speak with people, we breathe life into them. And when we speak at people, we breathe destruction into them. And the reality is it's up to every single leader, every single person, every single adult, every single student to choose between healthy or unhealthy communication. And that's what I do. My name is Jason Rates, and I am a speaker, a trainer, a communications coach. And I would love to be a part of your event, your conference, your school, whatever it is where I can encourage leaders to choose healthy communication over unhealthy communication. The reality is we know this, our words matter. Communication matters. It's a necessity for leadership. And I believe the time has come where we need to keep elevating the importance and practice of healthy communication in leaders' lives because our words matter. They create, they shape, they stick in our lives and other people's lives. And so we want to do everything that we possibly can to encourage people to choose to communicate in healthy ways every single day. Now, let me just give you a couple opportunities for uh, you. If you are a conference event planner, I'm a keynote speaker, you can bring in what we call our educational keynote. If you just need if your people, your conference needs a lift, you don't want a full-blown comedian, but you want a lot of laughter. You want a lot of fun. You want side-splitting stories, real-life practical stories that will weave this important message of healthy communication. I'd love to be a part of your event. If you are a school administrator, we have an assembly called Our Words Matter School Assembly. And we teach the very important social-emotional learning skills that goes into choosing to communicate in healthy ways. We'd love to come to your elementary, middle, or high school. And then lastly, if you are a business owner and you would love your team trained on how to be the type of leader who chooses healthy communication, we have what's called a Healthy Communication Employee Seminar. It's a training that goes either two, four, six, or eight hours. So you get to choose. There's pre-stuff, there's post-stuff, there's training videos, there's material for you to be able to dive in to really change the whole culture, the whole communication culture of your company. Because when you do, when the communication culture changes, here's what happens. Staff morale goes up, staff productivity goes up, staff unity goes up, and staff retention goes up. So <laughs> what were you thinking? That question has plagued me all of these years. And when someone asks me about my communication, I don't get it right all the time. None of us are going to. 
But when someone asks me that question, I wanna be able to have an answer that I chose to communicate in healthy ways. I would love to partner with you. I cannot wait to talk. Please click the box to the schedule a phone call and we'll get on the phone and we'll talk about your event or school or your company and cannot wait to be with you guys.